Project Community Spotlight is on a special art project. Four murals are going up on the support piers underneath the Interstate 794 bridge that connects downtown Milwaukee and the Third Ward. One thing I noticed when people walk by, they always tell me how they like the story in it. As an artist, I'm just very appreciative to be able to have the opportunity to express myself through that work. The murals show people and local landmarks along with the roads that tie the area together. Well, this week's cooler temperatures are bringing us an early taste of fall weather. So 12 News meteorologist Molly Bernard wanted to find out when it'll start to look more like fall. Around Milwaukee, a few trees are already starting to change color. The days get shorter and the nights get longer. That triggers a system by which the leaves make more sugar through photosynthesis, but the sugar cannot actually get into other parts of the plant. Michael Schlappi is a professor of biological sciences at Marquette University. He says next, a sort of wall is built between the leaf and the rest of the plant. Because of that, photosynthesis then stops eventually, chlorophyll, the green stuff, is turned over, and then it reveals what's underneath. Combinations of different sugars or pigments produce different colors. For instance, carotenoids. And if that's the only thing that's left, then the leaves turn all bright yellow. There's still a lot of green on these trees, so that means the best time to see fall colors here in southeast Wisconsin likely won't be for a few more weeks. SmokyMountain.com predicts minimal color here next week and peak colors around October 18th. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, you see these are maple trees here. They, they turn very soon and it's going to be a gorgeous, you know, reddish uh, hue here. Still, Schlappi says an early hard freeze, like last year's white Halloween, could have a negative impact on this year's fall colors. In Milwaukee, Molly Bernard, WISN 12 News. I'd forgotten about last year's White Halloween. <laughs> Travel Wisconsin posts a fall color report. It shows estimated peak times in each county, and you can find a link to that story right now on WISN.com. All right, well, the only color the sky has looked like this week is gray. Mark, that will change before the weekend's over. It will change, and I need to talk to Molly about putting that snow already in there. <laughs> we do not need another it six inches. It was startling. It, it was six confess. inches of snow on Halloween. Oh. I don't think that happens again. That was very, very rare. It's rare for us to get measurable snow in October. Let's talk about what it looks like right now. Shockingly, we're talking about more rain because that's not getting old at all. It's day after day after day, but that is going to be changing. 60 degrees right now at the Rock Sports Complex. Uh, baseball, a little iffy if you have any games out there for tonight because the rain is moving back in. Some places picking up uh, pretty steady rain right now. Kind of walk 56 degrees. Rain is coming down and it is a steadier rain out here uh, in western portions of Waukesha County. Just a big chunk of green. There's no worries about severe weather in here. There could be a few rumbles of thunder at some point tonight or tomorrow, but I'm not expecting severe weather. It is overtaking most of southeastern Wisconsin, but again, the major the concentration right now, the steadier uh, rain is in our western counties. Not too much yet around Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, through Ozaukee County and Sheboygan County, but that will be filling in as the night goes on. So it'll come in rounds. Here's 10 o'clock, more rain again. Nothing crazy here, it's just another steady rain. So hopefully you got the grass cut today. Tomorrow's gonna be very iffy to try to get a cut. You can get it done on Sunday. By that time, it might be above your knee. You can see those rain showers continuing to roll through. Probably a break in the afternoon and another round could move in uh, into Saturday night. Finally setting the stage for this clearing of skies, sunshine sunday looks to be a very nice day and then a really great stretch of weather temperatures back in the uh, 50s to around 60 degrees saturday not the pick day of the weekend sunday oh yes it is now it's not going to rain all day on saturday the better chances of rain would be in the morning so let's kind of work it all out here tonight it's a rainy night it's ugly you're just going to have to change your plans if you wanted to be outdoors. Best chance of rain tomorrow is in the morning hours. Partly sunny skies on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look beautiful. A slight chance of storms on Thursday, but the majority of it's looking good. Smoke, we haven't talked about it too much yet, but it is horrible. My brother lives in Salem, Oregon. The air quality there and in other parts of California and Washington is actually the worst of any air quality anywhere in the world. Some of the smoke eventually will make it here when the winds change direction, but for the most part, it is moving out to the west right now.
70, 73 and 68 degrees. So a little cooler on Monday, even with the sun, because we'll get a northeasterly wind. But then the wind changes direction and we should start warming up. Temperatures into the 70s, mid 70s, even upper 70s on Wednesday. Slight chance of storms on Thursday. Still looking good for Friday. Next weekend looks very nice as well. All right, thank you, Mark. Dan joins us now. I can't believe this. Only two more days until the Packers season begins. Yeah, it's about time, and the health of their offensive line could be a key Sunday. The latest on Billy Turner's injury, plus the freakiest baseball injury of the season. And a crucial series begins for the Brewers tonight against the first-place Cubs. The different paths the Brewers can take to the playoffs. It's all next at Big 12 Sports. Get instant alerts on the coronavirus. Download the 12 News app. Click Customize Alerts and turn on local breaking news. Big 12 Sports, presented by Menards. The Vikings' best available defensive end, Yannick Ngakwe, will line up opposite the Packers' right tackle Sunday. And we still don't know who that...